Today, I'm going to show you how I built this modern farmhouse inspired dining table using white oak and steel. I hope you'll follow along with Black Timber Company. I first began by measuring and cutting all my three and a half inch square steel tube to length needed for both the bench and the table legs. When I have a cut that is deemed repeatable, I can just use a piece that has already been cut and use that as a template. Once I have all my steel cut for my legs, I then take out my angle grinder with a sanding pad and chamfer the edges. This makes for a stronger build surface. Now I can weld all the steel pieces together to form the two bench legs and the two table legs. The primer I'm spraying on is a self-etching primer. Make sure before this step you clean the raw metal with a degreaser. Next I spray on the paint. The paint I'm using for these legs is a paint from Rust-Oleum that is an appliance epoxy paint. This stuff works great and is super strong when cured. The time lapse of me is assembling the tabletop. The bottom sheet is a regular 3 quarter inch plywood as well as the internal supports. I glued all these and nailed them with my brad nailer. The top sheet of plywood is a 3 quarter inch MDF cord veneered white oak. I glued and used a few pin nails to hold in place while I applied weight to the top and let dry overnight. I'm taking some 4 quarter white oak and jointing it on my table saw using this jig. This will become the edge banding around the tabletop. Next I take the white oak and resaw it on my table saw. Be very careful when using this method, and it's always a good idea to have some kind of feather board for avoiding kickback. Next I'll plane down the edge banding to a quarter inch thick. I glued and used pin nails on the edge banding of the tabletop. I then applied a bunch of clamps and let dry overnight. The next day, I removed the bulk of the edge banding with my hand plane. This was a lot of fun as I don't usually get to use hand tools very often. Once I got down as much as I felt comfortable, I then took my palm router with a flush trim bit and cleaned up the edge banding. Once the edge banding was all cleaned up, I attached the legs and sanded to a 220 grit, and then I applied a clear coat and called this table done.
I really hope you enjoyed this build video and remember to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Black Timber Company. Thanks for watching.